Hey yo, what's going on? It's your boy X coming at y'all with a brand new video. We're gonna do a gameplay with the Amethyst Marvin Bagley that we got today. And with the coach boost that I'm using with Mike Malone, he actually goes up to a 93 diamond, which is kind of cool. But I figured I'd switch it up and do a gameplay with some of the cards that are a little lower tiered, like this Amethyst Marvin Bagley, because I thought he could be one of the best budget cards. And after shooting around with him a little bit, I'm firmly convinced that this card is insane. I'm not going to fully go over the stats, but the uh, stats video will be linked down in the description if you guys want to see everything. But this Marvin Bagley is insane. As a 6'11 center, he is actually godly. I actually really, really like this Marvin Bagley card. He's got a nice release, and he's actually really quick at 6'7. I think I'm going to prefer him as a power forward, but as I'm going to show you guys today, I think he is the perfect big man for triple threat. You'll see why he's got a really nice post game. He's got a really nice shot and a good shooting stats. He's got really good dunking. He can actually play make a little bit. Um, not too great though, but you can see the defense overall is great. Some decent perimeter, good block and good interior, good rebounding. And his speed is amazing for a six foot 11 big man. It is actually really, really, really good. It actually is like kind of on par with somebody like Tim Duncan, which is amazing. I think I'll show you the speed of Timmy D. They're not exactly the same. I think Timmy D is a little better, but look, yeah, actually pretty on par with an Opal Tim Duncan speed wise and Tim Duncan feels great. So I think he is going to be an amazing card for those of you guys um, that want to see so, yeah, it. Let's hop into the freestyle and check out his animation. Okay, now here are Marvin Bagley and his hot zones. You guys can see he actually has a good bit of them and I'm pretty sure he has gold hot zone, which is awesome. But for a big man, he actually has some pretty good animations. Um, I'll show you guys his moving behind the back right here. Now, he cannot speed boost. I will say that he cannot speed boost, but he does have some good dribbling animations. And even if you give him a speed with ball shoe, his ball control only goes up to an 80. So it's just short. You have to have an 86 ball control and an 86 speed to be able to do that. There are some weird like stipulations, but maybe when he gets takeover, he'll be able to speed boost, which could be nice. But you guys can also see his release is actually really good. I don't mind it at all. It low-key, kind of nice. Um, it's a little weird. I keep releasing it early because I feel like uh, you should release it earlier than you actually have to. So that might help me online with some latency, but it's actually a really good release. And with this half corner special, he is going to be money in the corner. Like Marvin Bagley, seriously, probably will not miss in the corner, but really is a good card. I'll show you guys his off dribbles, although they're pretty on par with everybody else's. Not good, not great. They're just kind of, they're there. <laughs> um, his fadeaway. Uh, actually has the good animations when it comes to fadeaway and I think for the price that I got him at which was 1.5k um, if you guys don't believe me I'll show you guys my auction house um, after this he low-key is really worth it his post hook is just like everybody else's as well um, has a nice hook animations just has nice animations in general especially for a six foot eleven like you know combo big man like I actually really 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 like this card I think he's gonna be a beast and I think a lot of you guys at least budget wise are gonna like him and even if you have a good team I think it'd be nice to at least try on Marvin Bagley and see what he's like so yeah let's swap it over and I'll show you guys you know what I got for the auction house alrighty so just to show you guys that I actually did pick up a few Marvin Bagley's I got both of these guys one for 2k one for 1.5 and threw them up both for 4k um, it's a great time to be stopping on the auction house right now I'll be putting on a video later today about how to do that but just some quick flips Marvin Bagley super cheap and something somebody you can actually get really easy um, so we're gonna do a quick little you know triple threat online game with this Marvin Bagley because I wanted to prove a point that he is one of the better centers for this and i think probably one of the best centers for this so we're gonna have a zach levine josh smith and marvin bagley little trio going into this i think marvin bagley is just so good at this because he has the ability to shoot the three ball he can you know dunk like crazy still play good defense get boards and run um like crazy to keep up even when they have small ball players and that's exactly why i've been running you know the opal tim duncan because he can do everything on the court and Marvin Bagley literally is a budget Opal Tim Duncan and he's only like three to four K which is amazing. So I definitely recommend you guys picking him up. But the squad we're going up against is Amethyst Lance Stevenson, another budget beast, the free reward Ben Simmons that we got and the free time and Donovan Mitchell that we got as well. Kind of feel bad for this guy. But Marvin Bagley going against Ben Simmons actually might work in our favor because we're going to have at least some, you know, advantage in the post <laughs> we're, we're gonna have a little bit of advantage in the post um, bad defense by me right there but if we can get it in we can throw it over to marvin bagley and it looks like yeah he's gonna off ball us 
in the post, which should be fine because we can just get some easy post hooks right there with Marvin Bagley. He's got two points right over Ben Simmons. If people off ball in the post, post fades and post hooks are super easy to just finish them off. Just got to play a little bit of defense. We're jumping for no reason. And wow. Okay. Ben Simmons dunking all over Marvin Bagley right in the post. That's not great. But let's see if we can give it to him again. Whoa. He doesn't think Bagley can shoot like that. There's our green with Marvin Bagley. He's got five points. For some reason, people always sleep on some of these, you know, budget cards thinking they can't do everything on the floor. And let me tell you, ooh, look at Josh Smith pinning it. Let me tell you, this Marvin Bagley can shoot, getting the roll around Ben Simmons and a dunk right over Donovan Mitchell. That's seven points for him. I'm telling you guys, he can run the break. You can literally get the board and just run it down with Marvin Bagley. He is a beast on that Josh Smith getting that one. Bagley coming down another oh that was a midi i was gonna say another three but we greened it anyway nine points for marvin bagley he is cooking up and i'm loving this card man this is gonna be one of those ones that i feel like i'm actually still going to use whenever i want like a budget lineup i really like this and for no money spent he might be a nice card even though i do have to get to recording that but here we go we'll throw it into zach levine let's see if we can get a little pick and roll hoop action with marvin bagley we didn't really hit the screen well right there but he's leaving them wide open out there. Oh, of course, the catch and shoot when we wait. But it goes in. 12 points from Robin Bagley. And he is getting his glass cleaning takeover, which is nice. But he he got a little trailed from some dumb stuff behind there. But it's all good. We'll pass it back into him. And let's see if he can speed boost with it. Oh, oh Lord. Marvin Bagley is speed boosting with takeover. That is absurd. He's getting the board. We could kick it out real easy. But I want to. Uh, I wanted to finish. Marvin Bagley. I told y'all with Marvin Bagley's takeover, he can speed boost, which is insane. And the reason he can do that is because you get a plus nine to every single stat with takeover, so he actually gets that ability to be able to speed boost. Let's do the moving behind the back. We'll snatch. Get a little hop. Can we hit that one? Oh no, that one's definitely off. All right, we'll kick it back out to Marvin Bagley. Stop trying to cook up as much and get a little hop into the paint and easy little dunk with marvin bagley with takeover this card is glitchy 14 points for him right now i was expecting that pass through there we go we got to play some decent defense and we got that, that going in okay hitting some slightly contested shots right there but i think this is time to just let marvin bagley run the whole show if he's just gonna off ball oh no i thought we were getting by oh no oh he hit him with a little pick right there leaving him open on midi and we are wetting, which means it is a, a big brick. We'll go into the post here, give it a little drop, wait for him to jump, and that, oh, what I thought was gonna be an easy finish, turned into whatever that was, a good ankle breaker by uh, is Donovan Mitchell right there. Let's play a little bit of defense, and hopefully we get this board with Bagley. Yeah, there it is. He's snagging that from Josh Smith. We'll run it down. And he's leaving him wide open, which leads to another green where he turns around. That half quick first step is just amazing. 70 points with that Marvin Bagley. And he's got three boards to go along with it. Oh, we kind of get a block there. Interior defense may be a little weak with Bagley, but that's all right. He's jumping up on us, but easy little fillet finish at the rim. 19 points for Bagley. We are running away with this one. He's just so good. I really, really like this Marvin Bagley card. He actually is an Opal Tim Duncan for 3K MT. I love that. Ooh, thought he was going in with that, but he's going to probably try to cook up with this Lance Stevenson. Good shot. Good green right there by him. We can just give it right back to Bagley and see what's going on. Oh, ooh. Ah, I tried to do the little hop step too early. We'll have Bagley come to me and... We'll settle. Let's see if we can get a little pick and pop back, a little, like pick and roll action with Marvin Bagley running it. Do a little hop. Oh, he's leaving Josh Smith wide open. Let's see if we can finish it off with Josh Smith, which we do. Just wanted to get the W out there. But Marvin Bagley is insane. 19 points. That is three boards. It was three of four from three and eight of 13 from the field overall. I think you guys can definitely see what I mean about this Marvin Bagley card. He is actually insane and is such a good card, like such a good card. Uh, like the video you guys did enjoy and subscribe if you guys are new. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And I will see y'all in the next video. And I got this soda.